Hello everyone, this is Boricua Banks, and welcome back to Let's Play Ace Attorney Investigations 2, Prosecutor's Path. In the last episode, we finally finished Case 2! Yay! It took me freaking forever, didn't it? Gosh. And in light of that, that's why I'm recording today's episode, even though I initially had planned to have someone join me for this. And I'm hoping that before the end of this case, because knowing my slow, slow recording rate, um, hopefully he can still join at some point because I swear this case would be a million times better with him than without him. And it's not like I just wanted just anybody to join. I really wanted him to join because his voice for our particular character is freaking amazing. So, fingers crossed that eventually our schedules will sync up and he will be able to join. But for now, I think it is best for me to uh, just start recording this case. So, this is the third case of the game, The Inherited Turnabout, beginning part one. What's for dessert today? And Jeff Masters, piece of cake. Ooh, cake. I want cake. Macaroons and waffles, light and fluffy chiffon cake. Happiness for one and all. The sweetest temptations. There, where, over there. Take a peek inside the oven. Look, it's freshly baked desserts! <laughs> Try to do it to the bee is hard. Let's cook again today! Hey! I do watch a lot of baking shows with my mom, so <laughs> it's, it's funny. Because we just happened to be watching one earlier today. This program... Oh, this program sure brings back memories. Gregory. Tomorrow, I'm heading towards that fateful place with your son. To find out the truth of 18 years ago. Yeah, we got ourselves a flashback case, y'all! Ah, uh, this is one of the best cases in the whole freaking series, honestly. We never got to see Edgeworth's daddy until this game. Like, really see him, you know? Other than seeing him dead. Which is sad. It really breaks my heart because he's he's so cool. April second, ten oh five a.m. Zodiac Art Gallery, Fountain Patio. Mr. Shields, isn't it about time you told me what this is all about? Why did you bring me to this museum with you? You're not busy now, are you, Miles? I thought it would be nice if we could share the romance of the constellations together. Why'd you have to phrase it like this? <laughs> I beg your pardon, but I would like to leave. <laughs> He's like, nope, hard out. <laughs> I'm sorry, Mr. Shields, but you're not my type. My type is particularly spiky-haired, wears a blue suit. He's kind of an idiot. <laughs> Sorry, sorry, it was just a joke. Do you know about the final case your father worked on? The IS-7 incident. Here we go. DL-6. What was the other one? S SL-9? I think that was the one for um, uh, Emma from her past in the fifth case of the first game. And now IS-7. Man. Yes, Manfred von Karma showed it to me immediately after I became a prosecutor. I reviewed the case file again last night after you invited me here. And while I don't remember it very well, I also had been in attendance at the trial back then. Hmm. 
That image of his dad. When I was young, I loved watching my father do battle in the courtroom. During that trial, it was my father, the defense attorney Gregory Edgeworth against... The devil himself! Dang it, my friend's voice for him is phenomenal. You'll hear it, you'll hear it one day soon, hopefully. My former mentor, prosecutor Manfred von Karma. And while the trial ended with the defendant being declared guilty, I see. So you were there too. At Gregory's final trial. In that case, I'll cut to the chase and tell you what you want to know. How could you not know he was there that day? Where were you, Ray? The truth about the IS-7 incident. He's like, well, I didn't exist back when they originally wrote the, the first game, so they didn't bother mentioning me or deciding where I was. <laughs> I wonder, though, like, out of curiosity, like, if I was able to ask the writers of the series, how far ahead do they plan these things? Do they have, like, scenarios already planned out before they begin to write, and they're like, yeah, we know what that case was about, but we're not going to go into depth unless we decide to do future games and focus on Edgeworth, blah, blah, blah. It happened 18 years ago, during the winter. All the buildings were covered in snow coating the entire town like a layer of frosting. And it was in this very place that the incident occurred. This was all before Uncle Ray became a defense attorney. Hey, young Ray! He's adorable. Eighteen years ago. December 24th. Man, working on Christmas Eve. 5 p.m. Detention Center Visitor's Room. Uh, let me see. Mr. Edgeworth, this request sure was sudden, don't you think? God, if... Ugh. I wish I could do his voice justice. He deserves, like, the most sophisticated, deep smooth, suave voice ever, you know? Um, but I think I might give him, like, a similar voice to Edgeworth because that's his dad. So maybe a deeper British? Woo! Excuse me. Alright, let's see. Indeed. We were contacted immediately after the client was arrested. My name is Gregory Edgeworth. I'm a defense attorney. I brought my assistant Raymond with me to meet our client, but... A murder on Christmas Eve? This is just too much! Oh, in the darkness, a miraculous meeting! <laughs> All the singing! Welcome one and all to the visitor's room. Sir, I, I know that's part of your persona, but I don't know if you should be singing right now. <laughs> what is the guard doing with the jazz hands? Oh my god, he must be such a fan of him. Amazing! So this is what meeting a client is like. It all happened so suddenly, I was completely surprised. I'm also surprised. A thousand pardons for startling you. I'm merely expressing my happiness through song. Welcome one and all. I greatly appreciate you coming. He almost looks like he could be related to Ray. Like they both have the, the curly fro going on. <laughs> 
Ray, is this your cousin? Your, your daddy? Your uncle? <laughs> so, you're the client for this case. Indeed. My name is Gregory Edgeworth. I'm a defense attorney. Oh, he's so polite. I will be representing you in court. This is my assistant, Raymond Shields. Nice to meet you. I, um, I'll do my best to help you. Oh, Ray. Relax, Raymond. Please excuse his jitters. He's working part-time at my office as an apprentice. I thought I'd let him assist me in this investigation. Let me see. So here he's 18. Okay. 18 years. You know, he's not as old as I thought he would be. Wow. I am really surprised. And also, that just proves when it comes to the Ace Attorney series, it's like... People's ages don't make sense. There's no way that the way that Ray normally looks, he does not look 36 years old. He looks like he's in his 40s. At least, you know? Probably. That's a shame. So, Mr. Gregory and Raymond, correct? I'm pleased to make your acquaintance. My job involves saving my clients from crimes in which they were falsely accused. First, I should determine if he is truly innocent. That's hard to do though, right? Just from speaking to him, I mean, he's just gonna have to make a judgement call based on how he acts. First, I would like to know more about you. Oh, I have forgotten to introduce myself. My name is Jeffrey Master. What? You mean you're Master Jeff? The world's greatest pastry chef? Jeff Master, the Master Chef? Yes, I'm honored that you have heard of me. All my fans call me Master Jeff. Wowzers! I'm totally starstruck. Can't believe I get to meet Master Jeff. Look at his face and <laughs> those eyes. <laughs> that looks so funny. Raymond seems to know quite a bit about Mr. Master. Master Jeff makes fantastic desserts while putting on a song and dance show. Oh, here we go again. What's for dessert today? Macaroons and waffles. Light and fluffy chiffon cake. The same song as before. Happiness for one and all. The sweetest temptations. There, where, ever there. Take a peek inside the oven. Dun, 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 dun. Look, it's freshly baked desserts. I know the the tune. I just don't know how <laughs> how to sing it properly. Like I don't know. <laughs> Even Gregory's like <laughs> he's like bashfully like, oh crap! I got sucked into it. I got caught up in their song myself. I'm so happy that I got to sing with Master Jeff. It's my dream come true. <laughs> Thank you. I'm happy to hear that as well. Mr. Master, Raymond, shall we return to the matter at hand? Yes, of course. My sincerest apologies for making you wait. Now, where should we start? Okay, how about you? 
Doesn't Edgework do a similar motion? I'm pretty sure he does, actually. It's cool to see his dad and him having similar behavior, you know? You are the world's greatest pastry chef, but you are also skilled in song and dance. Yes, when I'm having a good time, my body just moves to the rhythm by itself. You seem to enjoy making desserts from the bottom of your heart. <laughs> if you don't have a good time making desserts, you won't make anything good. Creating desserts that bring happiness to one and all is my purpose in life. Master Jeff's desserts are practically works of art. They sparkle and look so delicious. He's famous for his dreamlike desserts. Man, y'all making me want some sweets now. How dare you? Bringing happiness to all with these dreamlike desserts, huh? Okay, about the case. The incident occurred in your state, is that correct? Yes. That's where the great dessert contest was being held. It seems that the body was discovered in one of my creations. Oh, jeez, how big is your creation? Oh. They found it in one of your desserts? They ruined it, how dare they? For that reason, I was arrested by the detective in charge of the initial investigation. I would never do something as vile as robbing someone of their life. I am certain that the police will also realize that they have made a mistake. Really? Hmm. Do you know anything about the victim? He was a man named Isaac Dover. He was one of the competitors in the contest. He was a wonderful man who made desserts of the highest beauty. Why did he have to die? I see. He truly seems to be grieving over the victim's death. He's a big giant, a gentle giant, you know? Seems like a nice guy. Alright, let's see what we have updated. So, we, like we said, Ray works part-time at George Law Offices, aiming to be a lawyer. Jeffrey Masters, 39. My client in this case, regarded as the world's greatest pastry chef. Isaac Dover, 38. The victim in this case, found dead inside Mr. Masters' dessert. Okay. I believe I have a sufficient understanding of Mr. Masters' personality. Mr. Master, before I accept your request, there is one final matter I must confirm. You did not kill Mr. Dover. Can I take your word for it? Yes, that is correct. I did not kill him. No matter what happens, I would never take another person's life. Those aren't the eyes of a liar. I understand. I believe you. Thank you very much for taking the time to talk with us. The pleasure is all mine. I am grateful to speak with someone other than a detective. Next, we shall begin our investigation of the crime scene. We will report back with our findings once we have finished. That sucks though, on New Year on Christmas Eve. I wonder who's watching Edgeworth or Miles while he's working, you know? They never mention his mother, but I assume that she died when he was much younger, or maybe when she gave birth to him, I don't know. Mr. Gregory, Raymond, I wish you good luck. Thanks, Jeff. Alright, looks familiar. <laughs> December 24th, 6pm, contest venue, Fountain Patio. Ooh, it sure is cold outside. I didn't expect it to be snowing this hard. You're not really dressed properly. Indeed, a blizzard like this will probably not clear up for a while. But even so, this mansion is ginormous. 
So this is what Master Jeff's place is like, huh? If you're going to hold a contest in your own home, you would need this much space after all. La la la! Welcome! Thank you for coming! Should be her, but... Yep, it is her. Oh, what's that? Oh! <laughs> that was... Quick! <laughs> eh? Oh my! Are you okay? Uh, I'm so very sorry. Don't you happen to be Monsieur Edgeworth? Yes, I am Gregory Edgeworth. And I'm his assistant, Raymond Shields. Greetings and welcome, Monsieur Edgeworth and Monsieur Shields. Please call me Catherine Hall. I'm in charge of the household affairs of this estate, and I'm also Monsieur Master's assistant. She's so cute. Oh, no way! You're the famous Kate, aren't you? You know of me? Of course I do! I see you on TV all the time! I'm a big fan of Piece of Cake! Oh, goodness! I'm glad to hear that you're a fan. Tell me, what is this Piece of Cake? Kind of awkward that she's upside down. <laughs> Almost like they're figure skating. It's a TV show that's hugely popular with the kids. Master Jeff and Kate sing and dance while they make delicious treats. Just like this. No. I like the song, but I'm not going to do it no more. Here we go again. What's for dessert today? Okay. Oh, it's different lyrics. Whatever. Except for this part. Okay. <laughs> good, good job, you two. I'm, I'm sorry. I, I'm not gonna bother. <laughs> I hope that's the last time you guys do it for a while. Oh, Monsieur Shields, that was incredible! <laughs> I always practice along with the show. Maybe I should tell my son about this show. <laughs> oh my gosh! Can you imagine him and, him and Miles sitting and watching that show together? Oh, that's so cute! We know that uh, Miles becomes a huge fan of the Steel Samurai, but I wonder what kind of shows he liked when he was little. Was he into that back then too, or what? But man, doing this dance repeatedly sure works up your appetite. Ah, pardon my inconsideration. I've forgotten to take care of our guests. Please relax and have some tea. Clatter, clatter. Gold? That's fancy. Very- oh my god, to drink out of a mug like that would be horrible! Like, I feel like I'd be spilling all over the place. It's so awkward. Oh, this is some fine salmon tea. I hear the aroma of citrus does wonders for your concentration. I see, so this is what Ceylon tea smells like. Oh, the sauces are chilled. That to help cool down the, the tea itself? Yes, they help cool the tea more quickly for people who are bad with hot beverages. Like Binks. <laughs> it's true, y'all. I... I'm the type... I like getting iced coffee because I'm too impatient to wait for my coffee to get cooler. <laughs> uh, I, I have a, they call it a cat tongue, where you're like very sensitive to hot temperature, so I have to wait a while for things to cool, or when I warm them up to begin with, I don't put them in for too long. Oh, 
I see. These teacups also have a wonderful design. Not really, but whatever. Oh, thank you very much. They are one of the few pride and joys of our estate, ordered directly from France. They were made by the famed sculptor Pierre Hoquet. They are my favorite. They are my absolute favorite articles of tableware. You seem to greatly appreciate this man's works. Yes, they are like treasures to me. She appears to be very honest about what she likes. Thank you, Miss Hall, but it's time for us to move on to business. Were there any details that you can give us about the incident? Ah, uh, you're right. I sometimes get so distracted welcoming guests that I forget myself. To tell the truth, I was the one who discovered Monsieur Dover's body. So you were the first one to discover the body? Is it true that the body was discovered in one of Mr. Master's desserts? Yes, it was during the judging of the Great Dessert Contest. I heard the sound of something breaking from Monsieur Master's room. Oh. Monsieur Master? Are you in here? Ah! When I looked inside the room, I saw Monsieur Dover's body inside the treasure chest. Thank you very much. I'm sorry to have made you recall such painful memories. No, I should be the one apologizing for not being much help. Now then, I believe it's time for us to start investigating the crime scene. Monsieur Edgeworth, Monsieur Shields, please find some way to save Monsieur Master. Monsieur Master is not someone who could commit murder. Yes, of course. Just leave it to us. Then I shall entrust it to you. If you'll excuse me, I have to continue serving tea to the other inspectors. Raymond, let's head to the crime scene. Yes, sir, Mr. Edgeworth. All right. But so we will be uh, looking around in here and seeing a very familiar face in the next episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you're enjoying this. And until next time, have a nice day. Bye!